because my first point was to demonstrate that a safe treatment can demonstrate us if uh, venous function could help uh, in managing the disease. So I prefer to use balloon because it's safe and uh, can be also repeatable with a second shot, very usable without any danger for the patient and is very conservative. This is a good model for understanding if venous function could play a role or not right. with the disease. And actually the answer is yes, because if you, are, if you have no narrowing, you have no more relapse. So this is very important. Okay. And also it's very important that in this category of patient, an index that uh, integrate motor function with the lower and upper extremities and cognitive function also improve significantly. I ascolta la sedie di sopra. Okay, and so that's relapsing remitting, so two years out, no attacks in the patients that you've yes. done. All, all of them have yes. had no attacks. Sometimes I have it. Renarrowing. Renarrowing. If they have an attack, it's usually because it's renarrowed. Just in renarrowing, not in the other. And this is a very important uh, proof, in my opinion, because this uh, uh, tells us yeah. that narrowing is linked with relapse. What about primary progressive MS? Primary progressive is the, the most of the disease because actually they are completely orphan of any treatment. Mm -hmm. Primary progressive people do not have a reliable drugs or treatment. Nothing. And what did you find? You've done this on people yes, with primary we progressive. Yes, a little group of patients in which we understand the two main things. The first is that the distribution of the narrowing is completely different from the other. And this is very important because uh, tell us that the, the location of the narrowing can determine the course of the disease. Right. And uh, not all the narrowing of primary progressive people can be treated. An urgent for a for MS patients. Urgent. So, urgent. Urgent. Because? Because MS is a progressive disease and strikes young people. So if we lose time, there are a lot of young people that progresses without possibility to get back. And this is very heavy for me, really. Why? Because I have a lot of people that emailed me, that wrote me, that called me, and also that knock to my door every day. And it's very hard for me to explain that there are no conditions for treatment, there is not enough awareness of CCSVI, there is no possibility to learn CCSVI screening because there are no course, no interest from the scientific society. So this means for the patient that we are really on late. So this is the reason. So let me just go over that. So you have people knocking on your door, you have people coming to you say, test me. Yes. And you can't. I cannot. And there are no places in the world, really. There is very few places because... That can test. Y uh, yes, the publication that we are capable to, uh, to do mm -hmm. was really important because center like Buffalo, Detroit, and Stanford starting. are starting. So this is very important, but really are a drop in the, in the ocean because uh, we need to have more and more center capable at least to perform the screening. Your wife, when she got sick, 
What did you uh, see happening to her? Uh, this was really... Uh, it's Elena, your, your wife. Uh, Elena, yeah. uh, yes, uh, uh, the first attack uh, uh, unclear, very unclear at the beginning of the 90. And uh, uh, the diagnosis and the real onset was in 95. And uh, Elena had uh, mainly two big attack for her a long time. And uh, now is five years without attack. But when she was sick, she was not able to walk, she was fatigued. She yes, was but uh, uh, to be honest, uh, fortunately, she had always a good recovery. But uh, you were worried. Uh, the, daily the daily activity was uh, really uh, devastated by the fatigue. Deficit. Chronic fatigue was really strong for her. So she was always tired, like, yes. MA like many MS patients. Yes, this is a very disabling symptom. And it's a, a symptom, orphan of treatment. So you have fatigue is a part of disabilities because led to depression. And also if you are capable to do exercise, you do not have the willingness to do. To do it. And so did you see her spiraling yes, down? Yes, yes, yes. What, what, what did you think when you saw her? Uh, uh, at that point, uh, uh, I was very close to the discovery of CCSBI. And so my hope <coughs> was to find something that uh, might be operated for her. And when I found this, I immediately operated her. And uh, she underwent two, two shots, two balloon shots because I have had the restenosis and I was aware of the restenosis prior to a new attack. So the second shot uh, was then prior to false attack. And uh, in the MRI we, we do not have actually uh, disease activity. 